All right, now for our next problem, we'll have, let's say, d squared, so second derivative, minus 4, operating on x of t, is going to give us negative 3e to the 3t plus 10te to the 3t. All right, so the left-hand side is actually simpler looking than the previous problem. The right-hand side is a little bit more complicated looking than the previous problem. Uh, so you might think, just by looking at it, that since this is e simpler looking, that this problem is actually easier. That's the deception with differential equations. You really can't figure out how hard it's going to be to work it until you work it. Because you'll find out, uh, even though we're going to use exactly the same process, this problem is a little bit more challenging. Uh, don't worry much, too much about it. I mean, it's still doable. It's just you know, a little bit more involved. So let's take it one step at a time. The first thing we want to do is define this homogeneous version of this differential equation, which is just simply, very simple actually, d squared minus 4 operating on x is equal to 0. That's the first step. We just take away the right-hand side, throw it away, and set it equal to 0. Let's solve this version. All right, so we do that by taking what's in here and convert it to this polynomial, r squared minus 4 is equal to 0. All right, and uh, we can just simply go r squared is equal to 4 and take the square root. So we'll say r is equal to plus or minus 2. So we have two roots, positive 2 and negative 2. So because of that, we can write the solution to this related homogeneous equation down right away. This is very simple. h of t is equal to c1e to the 2t plus c2e to the minus 2t. And you might want to circle that in your paper or something like that to keep it handy. So c1e to the 2t plus c2e to the minus 2t. So you see, it's very simple to get to this point. I mean, this is the solution to the related homogeneous version. Uh, okay, so this is going to end up being about half of our answer because all we need to do is add this to a particular solution that satisfies this non-homogeneous uh, equation. Let's go ahead and put n here to remind us it's non-homogeneous. Um, once we add this guy with a particular solution, p of t, then we've got the whole answer. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to find an annihilator a of d or some combination of derivatives, basically, for e of t, which in this case is the right-hand side of the equal sign, negative 3e to the 3t plus 10te to the 3t. All right, so that's a little bit more complicated, but when you really look at it, it's not difficult to find an annihilator for this. What you do is the same exact thing we've done in the last couple of problems. We have two terms multiplied together, um, there. So we first look at the first one and we say, well, what root would we need to have to generate that solution? We would need to have a root r is equal to 3. Okay, r is equal to 3. The reason we need r is equal to 3 is because if you go back to the way we do uh, solve our homogeneous equations, when we have a root equal to 3, you just put constant e to the 3t. So that's one of these guys. This guy we notice is very similar. It also has a 3 up here, but it's also got a t out here. This t in here is a giant clue that it's multiplicity. So this is also r is equal to 3. So if you think about the way you would, you know, forget about this for a second, if you just look at these roots, if I gave you these roots to a homogeneous equation and I said construct the solution, you would say c1e to the 3t plus c2te to the 3t because of the multiplicity. So the constants, it doesn't even matter what they are, in this case, it's negative 3 and positive 10. So, uh, here we go. So, 